Here's how you can create animations like these in Cavalry using only one behavior. Because if you try to change the height of a rectangle in Cavalry, it's going to scale from the center. And changing this pivot point down to the bottom, you can see that changing the height won't do anything, but changing the scale will actually make it work. Problem is, having a bevel on it is going to stretch it. And the same goes for a texture. The solution? The align behavior. Let me explain. So if we go into Cavalry with this first example of an arrow that we want to move from the left to the right, changing the body length of it is just going to scale it from the center and not from the edge. So we could try to move this pivot point by changing this pivot until the pivot point is all the way to the left. And then we can try to change the body length and you can see nothing happens. The problem is that this pivot only affects the scale and that stretches the object. So we need to use the align behavior. Now to do this, we need to select the object and then add a new deformer called align. And this align behavior is really simple. You only really have to worry about the X and the Y value. And you can see they change the pivot points so that they are on the edge of its object. And we can select X and then drag it all the way to the right for this example. And now by changing the body length, we can see it actually works as we want it to. Now it is obviously shifted to the right, so we can move it to the left a bit, but we'll keep it like this. And then basically just make a simple animation and change the frame rate to 60 and add some magic easing to get the final result of the first animation. The second one, we want to create this graph looking effect where it all scales from this bottom line that I've indicated here. Now to achieve this effect, we need to have a base rectangle that we've added a bevel deformer to and changing the height, you can see it scales from the center. So we need to add this align behavior. And this time we need to change the Y value to be again one, so that we can see on the right here, that the pivot point is all the way to the bottom. And before moving on, we can reposition it, the object to the original place by subtracting half of its height from the Y value. And now you can see changing the H value will work. But changing the scale will make this stretched effect, which we don't want. And this only really works if you don't have a bevel on it, but we do and it's also bad practice to use this scale. So instead, just add a duplicator to this rectangle and change the distribution to linear and scale it up to something like 440. And then we can change the position to minus 350 on both shapes. Now changing the height, you'll see that it changes the height of all the objects inside of the duplicator. So we need to inside of the original rectangle, right click and then add a behavior called random. And this is just an example. So you want to select the random and then set the minimum value to 200 the original size of the rectangle, and then set something like 800 so that it can go all the way up to 800. And now you can see we can change the seed, and we'll get all of these random graphs. Now, if you want to know how to animate graphs from real spreadsheet data, please leave a comment. And if you want to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee links in the description. Thank you for watching.